Hi, this is Mary Ellen Schneider with Oncology Stat. I'm here at the American Society of Clinical Oncology Annual Meeting in Chicago, and I am joined today by Dr. Homet Utle of Berlin. He's the principal investigator on a new study that looks at gemcitabine and finds that this drug as adjuvant therapy for pancreatic cancer um, has a double the survival rate at five years compared to observation. Dr. Utle is here to tell us more about this. Thank you for joining us. You mentioned in your presentation that this should be the standard of care in this population with pancreatic cancer. Can you explain a little bit more about specifically what this population is and why this would be a good advancement in their treatment? The most patient with pancreatic cancer, uh, there is no possibility for surgeon. Uh, only 20% of the patient have uh, the uh, uh, possibility for uh, surgeon options. And um, in the other group of patients, uh, they get gemcitabine as a monotherapy, as a standard worldwide. And uh, the patients with uh, um, after surgeon, there are um, differences in Europe and in uh, um, United States between the schedule, how to work with these patients after surgeon. And what uh, our um, plan uh, for this uh, schedule was to show that uh, six months gemcitabine monotherapy might be better than the observation uh, as we did in uh, Europe. The six months uh, gemcitabine was the experimental um, arm in this study and um, so what we found is that the patients after surgeon are zero and R1 resection, uh, that they have a uh, doubling in the overall survival time in the long term overall survival um, after five and after three years. Uh, and this was very interesting because um, these um, showed an option for the patient uh, in future that they can treat after surgeon for six months uh, with a very easy therapy, um, uh, gemcitabine mono. Great. This was a phase three trial, but what is next in terms of research on gemcitabine? So what we saw uh, at uh, ASCO um, uh, that for the palliative uh, setting uh, it was uh, 2005 so we presented in the same year our disease for survival data uh, that for the palliative patients gemcitabine and allotinib might uh, be better for the palliative treatment uh, for the pancreatic cancer uh, uh, for the patients who get rush uh, grade uh, 2 and so we started the no, new program for the adjuvant setting, six months gemcitabine as the standard arm and gemsa and allotinib uh, for the combination experimental arm to show that uh, the treatment results will be better uh, for these uh, patients with uh, the, this uh, very interesting targeted uh, therapy. Terrific. And when can we expect to see more information that will be useful for physicians and their patients on this issue? So I think uh, more information about this uh, done study, the Conconolo 1 study, will be uh, possible in the uh, internet uh, uh, and we will uh, make a full paper um, and uh, we hope that we can uh, publish this as early as possible and we will write the paper now and uh, so I hope uh, the whole results can be uh, written, uh, read uh, in, 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 uh, in, uh, in the international journals and in the internet. And if there is uh, anyone who have any questions, he can make email with the study group uh, secretary. And um, so that's easy to come more information. Terrific. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. This has been Mary Ellen Schneider with Oncology Stat at the American Society of Clinical Oncology Annual Meeting in Chicago.